Hello, everybody. My name is Buzzer. And I'm Sparky. Get ready for fun, because you've just joined the, the Bed Bug Bible, Bible Gang. Gang. We are the bed bugs and we like to fly and float and dance and sing. We thank the Lord for everything. We have six legs and we have wings. We are the bed bugs and we like to zip and zoom and say our prayers. We like to climb a lot of stairs. We have antenna in our hair. We are the bed bugs. And we like to tell you stories from the Bible. We are the bed bugs. And we can't wait to tell you stories from the Bible. One, two, three. We are the bed bugs and we like to pray and praise and eat meringue. And if you like the song we sang, you're in the bed bug Bible gang, gang. Ding, 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 ding. And if you liked that, then you're sure to love this. Favorite, Favorite friendly friends. friends. Did you hear that? We're going to meet some friendly friends. That's right, Sparky. Today we're going to see some really friendly friends from the Bible. Friendly friends are my favorite. I can't think of a friendlier kind. Or a kinder kind. It's the kinder friend we all should want to be. <laughs> Nebuchadnezzar was the king. He built a big, bright, golden thing. He told the people, you must bow and worship this gold thingy now. What is that thing? I don't know, but it sure is shiny. The people did what they were told and bowed down to that thing of gold. They were afraid of that mean king and his new gold thingamajing. Why are they all bowing down? They're s -s 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 scared of the k -k 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 king. But Shadrach and Abednego and their friend Meshach all said no. They said they'd only worship God and not some gold thingamabob. Hey, those three are still standing. The king was mad. He wore a frown because those friends would not bow down. He shouted out, I don't care how, but you three better bow down now. It sounds like the king means it. I wonder what he'll do. But those three friends just stood and stared. They folded hands and said a prayer. For Shadrach, Meshach, and their friend Abednego were faithful men. Good for you, Shadrach. You too, Abednego. The king grew madder than before. He led them to a furnace door. Why is the king bringing us here? He threw them in that fiery spot and shut the door to keep it hot. Oh, no! Those poor, poor friends. The king just smiled an evil <laughs> smile. I'll keep them locked in there a while. They should have done as they were told and bowed down to my thing of gold. This is the saddest story ever. Wait, look what's happening now. But when he opened up the door, those three good friends had one friend more. They're alive and they're happy. God's angel came to keep it chilly. Nebuchadnezzar sure looks silly. God saved those three friends. I worship God every day. <laughs> Me too. Me three. And that was a fire-filled, friendly story. And it reminds me of a fire-filled, friendly song. Why don't you sing it along with us? It's sure to sound hot. Nebuchadnezzar was king. He built a golden thing. And just for fun, he said, bow down. Nebuchadnezzar was king. Shadrach and Meshach said no, as did Abednego. We worship God, we won't bow down. Shadrach and Meshach said no. Nebuchadnezzar was mad at those three faithful lads. He told them all, you're going down. Nebuchadnezzar was mad. Into the fiery glow, the friends are made to go. The fire's hot and all around into the fiery glow. Nebuchadnezzar was shocked when that door was unlocked. For God had come, they all bowed down. Nebuchadnezzar was shocked. Sing along! Nebuchadnezzar was king. He built a golden thing. 
And just for fun, he said, bow down, Nebuchadnezzar was king. Shadrach and Meshach said no, as did Abednego. We worship God, we won't bow down, Shadrach and Meshach said no. Nebuchadnezzar was mad at those three faithful lads. He told them all, you're going down, Nebuchadnezzar was mad. Into the fiery glow, the friends are made to go. The fire's hot and all around, into the fiery glow. Nebuchadnezzar was shocked when that door was unlocked. For God had come, they all bowed down, Nebuchadnezzar was shocked. <laughs> Good job! Great job, everybody. That Shadrach song sure sounded swell. It reminds us to love God more than anything else in the world, and to love our friends and neighbors, too. I'll never forget to love God, Buzzer. And God will never, ever forget you, Sparky. That is super. Look at these mixed up pictures. Can you help me match up each pair from the Three Friends and a Furnace story? We can start with this silly golden thing right here. Where is its match? That's right! The other golden thing is right here. Now, point to the match for this kooky king. Good job! You found the other picture right here. Do you see a match for these three friends? You've got it! Just a few more to go. Try to find the match for this fiery fire. Be careful, this one's hot. You're on a roll! Where is the match for this jolly angel? Look closely, this one's tricky. That's it! You found all the matches! Way to go! That was super, gang! I couldn't have done it without you. And if you thought that was fun, then you're sure to love this. Jesus' littlest friends. And I bet you think he's talking about me. <laughs> Little children came to see Jesus talking neath a tree. They heard Jesus say, it's true. God loves every one of you. Hey, there's Jesus. Jesus says that God loves us all. Little children on the hill wanted to get closer still. They knew Jesus was a friend. Jesus said that God loves them. Jesus sure looks friendly. Let's go and meet him. Little children, go away, they heard the disciples say. Jesus has no time for you. Go find something else to do. Oh, no. What should we do? I guess I'll go home. Little children now were sad. Why were those disciples mad? Haven't they heard Jesus speak? Blessed are the small and meek. Hey, I'm small. We're all small. Little children stood and cried. Jesus saw them at his side. Wait, Jesus sees us. Jesus said, disciples, no. Do not make the children go. Hooray, Jesus wants the kids to stay. Little children, come to me. Let me set you on my knee. It won't matter if you're small. God loves children, one and all. I knew that Jesus loves us. Now everyone knows it. Little children are my friends. Everyone should be like them. They know where they ought to be, close to God eternally. I always want to be close to Jesus. And Jesus always wants to be close to you. Little children everywhere, God loves you and hears your prayers, keeps you close and safe from harm, holds you in his loving arms. That's great news. Jesus loves the little children. All the children in the world. Hooray! Boy, oh boy, that story was great. It's fun to know that Jesus is a friend to everyone, especially little friendly folks like you. And don't you ever forget it. One of these pictures from the Littlest Friend story is different from all the others. Can you help me find which picture is different? 
we can start with this picture of a little friendly friend. Which picture is different? You got it. That little friend is wearing a hat. How about this picture of a disciple? Which one is different? That's right. This disciple is the wrong way. Now, look at these pictures of Jesus. Can you tell which picture is different? That's it. That picture of Jesus is different from the others. Just one left. Which of these happy children is different from all the others? Right. This happy girl is doing her own thing. Hey, you found all the matches. Way to go! Good job, gang. That game was fun. You can always count on a little help from your littlest friend. I love to give the littlest help I can. Well, that's very big of you, Sparky. Thank you. Do -do -do. And now I'm proud to present the Bedbug Bandoliers with their latest, greatest hit, the Bedbug Barnyard Bash. When people think of bedbugs, they think of things at night. Or things that creep when they're asleep all through the deep dark night. That's just our reputation. We never mean no harm. In fact, our favorite thing of all is working on the farm. So when you think of bed bugs, don't start to itch and scratch. Just get out of bed instead and head to the bed bug barnyard bash. We wake up bright and early, right when the rooster crows. At half past four, we do up the chores. There's always more of those. We feed the ducks and chickens, the pigs and horses too. There's a lot to get done, but we're having fun. It's what we like to do. So don't you think of bed bugs? Don't start to itch and scratch. Just get out of bed instead and head to the bed bug barnyard mash. We eat a hearty breakfast. It's our very favorite meal. It's all so great, we clean our plates, then head out to the field. To plant our fruits and veggies, we bed bugs know the trick. Fast growing seeds is all you need, tomorrow they'll be picked. So when you think of bed bugs, don't start to itch and scratch. Just get out of bed instead and head to the bed bug barnyard nest. We bed bugs love the country. The farmer's life is bliss. And I reckon you ain't never seen a barnyard quite like this. There's just one tiny problem, a small one you'll agree. We can't figure out how to milk the cow. We're only bugs, you see. So when you think of bed bugs, don't start to itch and scratch. Just get out of bed instead. Each critter sure to go. We alaman left and alaman right. Sometimes we do si do. A flea fires up that fiddle. It's fine, I do declare. You've never ever seen a sight like bedbugs dancing in a square. Bobby, your partner. Bobby, your corner. Everybody do Tomorrow there's more work to do, it's true, another day. We're glad that you could join us, just to calm those bed bug fears. Now you gotta get along, that's the end of the song. Y'all come back, you hear? So when you think the bed bugs, don't start to itch and scratch. Just get out of bed instead and head to the bed bug barnyard bash. So when you think the bed bugs, don't start to itch and scratch. Good night, sleep tight.
Thank you, bedbug bandoliers. It gave me just enough time to get the other bedbugs organized for one more super poem. Hey, buzzer! It's going to be a great story with... Hey, buzzer! Sparky, why do you keep saying hey? Hey, buzzer! Are you all right, buzzer? Mm-hmm. So, without further ado, the Bedbug Bible Gang is happy to bring you Three Friends and the Fisher of Men. Young Simon Peter likes to fish. That's what he does the best. Sometimes he'll fish right through the night, while other fishers rest. I'm tired. We've got to keep fishing. One night he fished and fished some more, much later than he ought. And though he fished for hours and hours, he hadn't caught a lot. How's he doing? Not even a bite. He brought his boat back into shore to dock it for the day. But as he pulled up to the beach, a friend passed by that way. Howdy, friend! Hey, that guy looks familiar. Hey, Simon Peter, said the friend, untie your fishing boat and take me out away from shore to find some fish and float. But we just got here. Back in the boat, buddy. So Simon Peter took his friend out sailing as he wished. Let's drop the nets, said Simon's friend, and try to catch some fish. This guy must have missed the beginning of the story. There are no fish, mister. But Simon laughed. <laughs> I fished and fished and didn't get a bite. But if you'd like, I'll try again. I hope that you are right. Good luck, Simon. So Simon dropped his fishing net just as he'd done before. And all at once, the net was filled with 50 fish or more. Whoa, look at all those fish. It's a whole fleet. So many fish came flooding in, they nearly sank the boat. And Simon called to James and John, please help us stay afloat. Here comes another boat to help. They're just in time. Both boats were filled with flopping fish, the most they'd caught in days. And Simon, Peter, James, and John just stood and stared, amazed. I can't believe it. Neither can they. And when they came back to the shore, they knelt before their friend. And Jesus, for that's who it was, said, help me fish for men. I knew he looked familiar. He wants them to fish for people? So Simon, Peter, James, and John all followed him that day. They left their boats and fishing nets to fish a different way. Now all day long, they fish for folks. They tell them God's good news, that Jesus rose to set us free and makes us fishers too. I love fishing. I love Jesus. <laughs> Look who I caught. I hope you liked our story. The bedbugs love to share the good news that Jesus loves us all. When we share the good news, the people we tell will want to jump right into Jesus' boat. Sharing the good news is the best way to fish for people, just like Jesus said. Oh, and all this time I've been using worms. Blech. <laughs> now you can sing a song about fishing for people. We'll sail right through it. Simon sailed his boat all night. Hallelujah. There was not a fish in sight. Hallelujah. Simon rowed his boat to shore. Alleluia. Saw a friend he knew before. Alleluia. Jesus got into the boat. Alleluia, out to sea to fish and float. Alleluia. Simon tried to fish again. Alleluia, Jesus told him where and when. Alleluia. Simon gave the net a pull, Alleluia. In a flash, the boat was full, Alleluia. Jesus said, now come with me, Alleluia. 
Bring along each friend you see. Alleluia. Everybody sing along. Simon sailed his boat all night. Alleluia. There was not a fish in sight. Alleluia. Simon rowed his boat to shore. Alleluia. Saw a friend he knew before. Alleluia. Jesus got into the boat. Alleluia. Out to sea to fish and float. Alleluia. Simon tried to fish again. Alleluia. Jesus told him where and when. Alleluia. Simon gave the net a pull. Alleluia. In a flash the boat was full. Alleluia. Jesus said, now come with me. Alleluia. Bring along each friend you see. Alleluia. That was wonderful. Wow. That song was fun. It sounded a little fishy to me. Can you find five floppy fish hiding in this picture from our fisherman story? Hurry, before they get away! There's a fish hiding in Simon's shirt. Can you see any others? You found a flippy fish in the bottom of the boat. Keep looking. There are still three fish to find. You caught one. That fish looks like it's flying. Can you see any others? There it is. Just one more fish to find. Where is that final fish? You found the last floppy fish. That's all five. You did a great job. You are all fantastic fishers. That's all the time we have for today, gang. We hope you had fun, and we hope to see you again real soon. And always remember that Jesus loves you very much. Bye-bye! We are the bedbugs and we like to fly and float and dance and sing. We thank the Lord for everything. We have six legs and we have wings. We are the bedbugs and we like to zip and zoom and say our prayer. We like to climb a lot of stairs. We have antenna in our hair. We are the bedbugs. And we like to tell you stories from the Bible. We are the bedbugs. And we can't wait to tell you stories from the Bible. And we like to pray and praise and eat meringue And if you like the song we sang You're in the Bedbug Bible gang Gang, ding, 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 ding.